Okay, there we go. So, uh, thank you to Fickle to start this off, because apparently my mic was off for the first five minutes of that. So let's try this again. Uh, I haven't played this... Uh, I haven't played Demon Souls in quite some time, and I've only played it... I don't know... Maybe twice through? Not a whole lot, honestly. And... Come on, there we go. And there's... <clears throat> There's just so many different things about this game that I, w I was talking about at the time, and, you know, whatever. We'll just go through it again. I'm gonna pick Barbarian because... I don't know if I want to go Dex, and I'm not gonna be wearing armor as much as I can avoid it. I don't remember how... I've never tried a no-armor run of this game. I don't know how hard that will be. King Aland the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force and the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land, but none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs, Yurt the Silent Chief, Sage Urbane, Skurver the Wanderer, the sixth saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland, and sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands, near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Yes, I would. We'll see if I can get that special intro, if I'm good enough today. So, what I find very interesting about Demon Souls is that you have a definite focus on people. Actual people. Brave soul who fears not death. More than ancient gods, for example, in Dark Souls. I shall guide you. In which, oh look, the, the first flame, everybody's got a piece, and now, you know, ancient lords of old and gods and demigods, or whatever the hell you want to so call that them. You may lull the old one back but in, to slumber. But in Demon Souls, it's really more about people. I mean, Dark Souls 2 seems to have more of a person focus to some extent. Um, but this one 
definitely has a lot more to do with... I'm, I mean, in the intro you saw her, the narrator, list off all of those different people. Of which I don't remember any of them. I think I remember the priest in her uh, guard the most. Out of any of them. Um, but yeah, we're mostly dealing with people in this game. There's definitely a lot of monsters and monstrosities and just crazy bullshit creatures. But a lot of the end focus of a lot of areas has to deal with people. And I just think that's an interesting take on it. I also love... I love the feel and look of this game. A lot. Like, this to me looks better in a lot of ways than Dark Souls 2 does. It doesn't have the same particle effects, or, and there's obviously some jankiness here and there. But just the atmosphere. It just feels better somehow. I don't I don't really know why, maybe that's just, you know, I'm an, I'm an old man or something. Can I backstab? I th yeah, you can backstab. But I mean, I... In some ways I think this looks better than Dark Souls, also. Oh right, I have to look out for that. They're yellow glowing lights. Yep, use item as square. I'm gonna fuck that up a lot. What do I have? I have no armor. I have two weapons on me for some reason. I have two clubs. Uh, stone that radiates soul light. Change the stamina display. The color of the light changes according to the souls in the area. Oh, I think this has to do with uh, the alignment, the tendency of the world. And we'll get into that a little later. I'm not too, too knowledgeable about it, but at least at the basics I understand. Ball damage also? Not a big deal in this game, just like Dark Souls 1. You're either going to die or you're not really going to feel it. Oh, nice. And a nice batter up swing. And for the most part, this feels just like Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2. There's it's the same core gameplay. And as usual, it feels feels pretty good. It's a little stiffer than Dark Souls 2, just like Dark Souls 1 is. Uh, you can't flow around it quite as freely, which I think is a good thing, honestly. But, you know, they're both pretty good. Uh, and there's not much in this tutorial area, it's literally just that. We go from place to place, understanding basic concepts. But the reason I'm doing this isn't so I can remember how to play, it's because there's something special that happens at the end of the tutorial that you can fuck up. But if you do it right, you get some, you get a bonus. You don't have to succeed at it. It's it's an optional. Uh, I haven't actually decided if I'm going to use a shield or not. Oh, hey, hey! Here we find actual humans. Though, if you caught his face, that guy's not dead. That's that guy's still kicking. These are real people for a change. Oh yeah. Pairing's nice. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. And Demon Souls has ragdoll physics. <laughs> oh, and our for first look at a uh, a more of a badass type monster. So he hits through my shield. He's intimidating. I don't remember if I can circle straight these guys quite as easily as you can like a black. Ah, there we go. It's a black knight. I think the hitbox might be slightly smaller. And these guys move turn a little faster too. Yep. Oh, 
Oh. And of course you still have invincibility frames. What is he doing? Definitely something I really like is being able to smash through someone's shield if they're hiding behind it. I remember doing that a lot in Dark Souls 1, but for some reason I don't... I feel like that's not a thing in Dark Souls 2. You can't just two-hand and break someone's shield down. For whatever reason. first trick of the game. Hey look, pick it up and then get shot. Fortunately he is very slow, so he shouldn't have much of an issue. And let me just check one. Okay. So we're pretty much, I mean, we were told we were being guided somewhere, but this doesn't seem like perhaps the best place. So the question is who was guiding us and was this their intention, honestly, to just kind of walk around this possibly current day uh, castle, killing all these guards who were like, hey, get the fuck out of my house. Uh, let's see, I think I get everything. I'm just gonna heal up. Uh, one of the one of the largest complaints about this game is that you can get a lot of grass, which is actually your healing item, and you can just stuff grass in your face all day every day. Um, this, particularly this is an issue in PvP because people can heal indefinitely. He invaders and uh, hosts. But anyway, here's the issue. Let's see if I can actually do this. Spoilers, probably can't. He does have a lot of health. Oh god, and he hits. He hits hard. You can kind of see already who this might remind you of from Dark Souls. Perhaps a guy with a larger ass might uh, might be who you might be thinking of. Yeah, that will kill me in one hit. That that big old pickup slam can't even handle it. Oh, don't you dare. You fucker. I think that one might also kill me. He's gonna do it again, huh? There we go. Oh, I'm in, the, I'm in a bad spot. Oh. Okay, I would really like it if his ass was constantly in the fucking corner. But he seems to not want to move, honestly. Like, really, he really doesn't want to move. His body lurches forward, but he doesn't physically move forward. And it's a little strange to me. No, he's yeah. He really his animation makes him move forward, but he doesn't actually move. That's so weird. Look at him. He always steps back after ah fuck after every strike. What are you doing? 
doing, big guy? There we go. You definitely don't want to be get caught in a heal with this guy. He will fuck your day up. I am running out of grass though, so I need to get the DPS up a little bit. But as a theme through all the Dark Souls, Demon Souls, and whatever other souls, including probably Bloodborne, probably, hit them in the ass! If you can hit something in the ass, hit it in the ass. It's probably the safest place to be. Somehow, it's surprisingly the safest place to be. You think you'd just sit on me or something? Although, I guess the first enemy in Dark Souls 2, well, the first powerful enemy in Dark Souls 2 does that to you, huh? Kinda tricks you with that, the Cyclops guy. So, it looks like he does a three-part combo, but he's actually just resetting so quickly after that second slash that he can immediately attack again, which can throw you off. Ah, oh, that was the wrong place to hide. And he stumbles backward, which is really irritating. Because it's it really throws you off as to what his animation is, and also what he's actually supposed to be doing right now. Not to mention where he physically will stop moving for his next attack. Oh, oh alright, just another butt stomp. Worked out the other 15 times we did it. Oh, what the fuck? Like, like his hand nicked me. I didn't realize his left hand is actually dangerous. Like I've ever been hit before. Yeah! There we go! So that was the hard part. Because as you can see, he can two-shot you, or one-shot you if you get unlucky. But you get a nice bonus to start the game with. If you kill him here and now. And the, the demon soul goes into the archstone. First you grab the soul. And I could just walk away at this point, but we're going to move forward. I think that's like the second time I've ever managed to pull that off. It's not horribly difficult, it's just oh, a little bit of luck. And so because we killed him, we get this extra little cutscene. Uh, we get this extra little sequence. And we see something massive on the other side of those pillars. Just like a total badass gigantic creature. Some some skeletons. I don't know if there's anything here. I think the I think the soul was the only bonus. So let's see how close can we get. Pretty straight path. Lots of corpses. I mean he knows we're here. He's looking looking right at us, kinda of roaring. There's an item right there. I don't know if we can get that item. Certainly gonna try. Rolling grass. See, it's been so long I actually forget the the series of events that's supposed to happen here. 
I thought for sure something was going to happen as I walked up to that. So we're actually getting some nice health items. And the health items go within the different phases of the moon, if you could tell. I think full moon might be the best. Because crescent, half moon, maybe full moon isn't the best. Oh, and we got shards. Nice. Shards are, of course, obviously the upgrade material of the game. And there are so many different kinds, it's a little ridiculous. You have ones for bleeding and poison and dex versus strength. And oh god, it is a it is not easy. And I probably will ask for help if I have any particular questions. Hopefully. Oh. Fucking punches you! It is fucking nails you and, and you die it just it just fucking punches you in the face the whole body actually technically so I'm glad I got to show you guys that because that's that's a, just a fucking weird but awesome little little scene Drawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. That noise is familiar. This is the Nexus. Together, the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five archstones will connect it. You cannot escape the Nexus. No matter how many times you die, you're just gonna come right back here. And if you notice, the top left of the screen, my health is halved. Until I become alive again, oh, I have half a fucking health bar. Great start to the game. We also have this, which is the symbol of being bound here. And just like the dark sign, if you use it, you can teleport back, but you lose all the souls. So let's say hello to everybody. I'm stockpiled, Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here, in the Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. So in this game, which this is one of the largest issues of this game in my opinion, you have a set burden limit at the bottom right. You can't hold any more than that at any point in time. It doesn't matter whether it's equipped currently or not. So the fact that we're not wearing armor, probably a good thing. Also shards can be accessed. Fortunately, shards can be accessed from this without actually Best of luck being um, uh, when the came, without actually holding the shards, I which is nice. Abandoned my what when I came to, I was in the Nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. I wish I could do more, but I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. That oh, candle good, maiden cared for me during my first days in the Nexus. She says very little, but has a kind heart. She's just the age my young daughter would have been. The poor, poor girl. Trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. 
If only something could be done to help her. If only something. Nope, you're done. You're out. Best. Hey, look, a blacksmith. Mm. You new here? You here for my services? The name's Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons, or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? So, pretty basic stuff. And I don't have any weapons that can be upgraded. So I need to get better weapons. I don't remember exactly what that classifies as. Uh, and I'm just shy of being able to actually buy anything. Perhaps you've already had, but there's another blacksmith at the entrance of Stone important. Fang Mine. Very important. Stone Fang He's Mine. He's an eccentric old man, but he knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in a town of soul starved men. If you do meet him, yeah, well, forget it. That stubborn old near the well will just ignore you. There aren't enough blacksmiths in this temple to handle all the work. Only certain ores can be used to forge weapons, but you just have to make do. And be thankful that I'm still of good health. Yeah, you really look great, buddy. And be thankful. Yep, alright. No entry, I can tell you. So, uh, here we go. Oh my. How has this happened? Has God abandoned us for failing to show proper respect to King Alant? Oh, Mbasa. If anyone's ever heard people say that in the Reddit or anywhere else, this is where that oh. comes from. What is this over here? So, as we meet new NPCs, they'll actually start to fill out the Nexus. But for now... Oh, missed one more guy. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the archstones. Now, go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed volatilia. Where mind you of anybody? So it seems like every single Dark Souls, Demon Souls game uh, of this or last generation has somebody like this. Maybe he has a name, maybe he doesn't. Dark Souls, he's a Firelink, and Dark Souls 2, he's in Medulla. And he mentioned kill things, go kill things. However, all these archstones are sealed, some are even broken. Except for the one that he mentioned. Now, I believe I have to go through this one first and do some things in here. But I want to double check something else because I don't want to fuck this up. I think the game just does tell you what to do next, but. I want to go up here. And the Nexus is actually quite large, and a lot of it's empty and won't ever be used. Which makes it a little hard to find NPCs once you've talked to them. If they're going to appear here at all. They're just going to a fucking... Hmm. Alright, I don't think I can do this yet. But I just wanted to double check. There's someone up there I have to talk to and things happen. Oh god. Yeah, this is how the falling looks like. You kind of like hover float. It's a little weird. And the maiden is, uh, is missing, by the way. We kind of looked all around and she's not here. So, we'll just go to the Boletarian Palace. Hey, look, it's our favorite guy, Patches. 
later known as Pete. So this is probably a good time to talk about World Tendency. The way this game works, not only when you die do you lose half your health bar until you find a way to rejuvenate yourself. Um, if you die a lot, I think and also do something else. The World Tendency of the Archstone can turn from neutral to black, which makes the enemies harder. Man, that guy has a mouthful of, of meat. Man meat. Uh, it makes the whole area harder, basically. Or, if you kick ass, don't die often, uh, defeat bosses and some other metrics, you go towards white, a white tendency, and enemies get easier, the whole area gets easier, basically. Uh, things to note, though, that Obviously, everyone would just want to always make a white tendency, unless you're a masochist. But, and I believe it's right over here. It's, yeah, it's right over here. Certain places require certain tendencies to do something. Oh, wait. Oh, oh god. Right here. If you're black soul tendency, you can proceed. It just, the game straight up tells you, you need to get this tendency to open this area. Now, they don't tell you about every little area that you can open with certain tendencies. But for the most part, uh, basically you need to make the game do something specific to open up an entire area. So everything over there, and you can see just a pile of items. We, we can't get to it from here. We, there is nothing we can do, to my knowledge. Unless we're gonna try to break the game, but you can't jump. So if this was Dark Souls, you would just you just jump off the stairs like this, like an asshole, and just kind of slide over. But we can't jump, so what are we gonna do? Hey, <laughs> baby, daddy, beast, how you doing? Like I said, I'm a little fuzzy on tendencies. I don't remember how to. I know dying gets you black, and I know killing bosses makes you whiter, but I don't know how to do it other than that, and I know there are ways. Easier, probably. That's time consuming, hopefully. And the beginning is harder than Dark Souls, in my opinion, just because you don't have ow, you don't have the Estus Flask that will regenerate every time you die. In this game, you have a certain number of grass, and if you run out, you run out, and you gotta find more or buy more in certain circumstances. So if you get stuck in like this first 10-15 minute area, you have to just get fucking good without healing. You have to go through the whole damn thing without healing. And hope people drop more. You know? Oh, really? Nice. Is this the first time you played the game, Beast? There are hidden items occasionally. And there's no reason not to heal, by the way. Unless you think you're just gonna die or something. Uh, that's just death. I, I don't know why. I don't know if that might change in a certain tendency. That's just death. It's just like, hey, you're dead. Pretty much. Ah, uh, they didn't drop anything. I've fallen in there before, it's hilarious. It's hilariously sad. You just instantly die. Watch out. Might be someone on the right. And just like uh, Dark Souls, there are 
It's the same, it's basically, if you understand what Dark Souls is as far as combat, you know what this is. It's not... Let's see, how do I rate? How do I rate? Uh, I don't know how to rate. I might not be... Oh! Just ate a moon grass like I told you I would. <laughs> sounds... Sounds interesting, beast. Have you played any, any other of the Soul series, or is this your first go? Entirely. Oh, well, good trade. Worked out for me anyway. Wow, yeah, it worked out for me. Free heals. I'm just gonna be hitting shit a lot because I don't remember where stuff is. The game's about exploration. Yep. Worked out for him. And in this game, there are definitely a lot of drops to find things and that kind of stuff. Which, a few of those are coming up pretty soon. To rate press select. Oh. Oh good, I'm glad you're starting with this one, actually. You should definitely play this, then Dark Souls, and then Dark Souls 2. And then Bloodborne. Like, in that order. I don't, I mean, I don't know what Bloodborne's like so much yet, but... We'll see. Oh god, it rolled into it. Someone's tossing stuff at me. Can't just shit him about him from here, though. And there's another one up there. There's just a lot of people chucking shit at you. Oh, God! God, God! The frame rate drop. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. Okay. Just, just, I was looking up, didn't even see him. Didn't even see him. Should probably take my shield out more. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna be using one. I have it on my back for now in case I really need it, but... It's a pseudo-challenge run right now. We'll see if I can commit myself one way or the other. When you look down here, I'm like, oh shit, how do I get that? Well, we can't get it quite yet. Gotta wait a little. That look familiar? Hey, now we can get it. And it's a bastard sword. So let's see. Controls are not as quick. So, 100, 206. Uh, I believe it goes... I believe the first one's Strength, then Dex, then Magic, then Faith. I think that's how it goes. Oh, I'm not strong enough to use it. With one hand. With two hands, though, I'm perfectly fine. So let's see what this attack is like. It's fast. I like it. Oh. Oh, not doing great. Oh, that camera. Just freaked out a little bit. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, ah. Okay. So, I am running a little low on grass, which is unfortunate. Oh, we got a new enemy type. Oh, I can't. Hmm. Oh, uh, but... 
Doesn't really matter. Circle strafe. Now, there is a particularly strong enemy this way, in this direction. Yeah, there he is right there. I am not going to fight him right now, because I'm probably going to die. I'd rather open up a shortcut or two. Hey, Silverbird! Yeah, we're playing Demon Souls. Yeah, haven't done this one yet. Yeah, fuck it. Oh god. Oh, and he's healing like an asshole. They knew how to do this in this game too. Oh, shield break. Fortune oh late move grass. That's right. That's the order. Crescent half late full. And I don't remember how much this is gonna hurt, but it's a nice little item right here. Yeah, the fall damage is fucking negligible in this game. God these controls are stiff. It's just the It's just these controls for some reason. I'm definitely not restricting myself to any weapon type. Oh, oh. Yeah, ball death. Definitely not restricting myself to any weapon type. I'm going to use pretty much everything at my disposal. I felt like I was going to fly over. This game definitely has frame rate issues once in a while. Ooh, the No Majora's Mask. Or the. The new version of it. Definitely a good one. Yeah, I have a 3DS, but I'm not sure if I want to buy anything for it, because I don't play it quite enough. If I traveled more or something, you know, I would feel better about it. Uh, huh, alright. Like, Monster Hunter 4 came out, and I'm like, hmm, kind of want it, but I kind of don't. And let's see. I mean, I mean, Majora's Mask is easily one of my favorite Zeldas. It's, it's just so much fun. The Atlas made a Mother Earth or Earthbound knockoff. I fucking love Earthbound. I feel like I love Earthbound because of nostalgia, though. It is... Well, no, it's it's still a pretty good RPG, even, even before it's time. Hey, look, explosive barrels. Watch the fuck out. The game's teaching you. Ooh, and we got a slave shield. And remember, every time I pick up dirt and trash, it does weigh me down. Now, it might not actually affect my abilities. I don't think it does. Um, but if, if I'm trying to pick up something rather heavy, it's not going to let me. And we'll have to come back there later. Oh. Got a whole bunch of them now. And if I did slightly more damage, this wouldn't be so bad. Oh. Takes a little while to get out of that, apparently. Oh, he might not be alive anymore. Yeah, I play it every every few years as well. I have it on my phone, actually. The emulator. Oh, someone fucked up something down here.
I've never beaten the game though. I've always gotten to like the desert and I've just lost interest for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, the cling ring. Our first ring of the game. And it's also important because it gives you like 75% of your health bar. Very important. But as long as we're down here, there was someone who f fell. Ah, and some armor. And old spice. Yes, this game has spice. Is that it? If so. So spice is magic related, I believe. Let me double check that now that I'm thinking about it. Yes, MP. In this game, magic doesn't have uh, casts, like a limited number of casts. You just have straight up a magic bar. It's pretty sweet. I wouldn't mind getting a little magic, actually. Maybe, uh... Kinda be a jack of all trades build, if I can. Yeah, if I had a regular bow, I'd be using that over the crossbow, but it started as a barbarian, not a hunter, so. Eh, it's fine. I'll find a bow soon enough. I think I might be able to find one pretty soon, actually. Like, within the next few areas. And there's something going on down there. It's, uh... It's questionable. Now, though you cannot jump in this game, that doesn't mean the game doesn't want you to do weird shit to get to places. What's up, guy? That was a bolt jump. A surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dreglings. Yeah, sure. I'll just get right on that asshole. I mean, yes, I'll save you. Uh, oh god, I thought that was an enemy. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this, because this might fuck with the Thief's Ring, because it might fuck with my ability to understand how the enemies work. I don't... I don't... Yeah, if I hit the barrels with a non-fire sword, it's fine. Yeah, I'll talk to you in a minute. Picking up turpentine. It's fine. Is it dark beast? Dark no, too light. I rescue. mean, I am Ostrava. I don't think I ever changed the settings, honestly. Ah, the telescope. Yeah. Takes forever. Also, this guy's gonna get ambushed. Now it's important to keep this guy alive because of a reason. Please, you must not. Oh god, did I aggro him already? Did I aggro you? Thank God. Now I must go. This guy cannot survive without you. He just isn't capable. Which is too bad, because I'd rather not have to babysit him. But he really is just completely useless by himself. And you have to avoid hitting him too, which is tricky. Oh god! Oh my god, I'm alive. Oof. Flash at everything. Oof. I didn't know how much time I had, so I, I could have found an explosive thing down there and made everyone explode, but you know. Uh, 
I don't know if he's about to get into more trouble or not, but I want to forget these. What's his name? Word? No, that's that can't be his name. I think he may have said his name, but I missed it. Okay, now pretty sure he doesn't go any further. Pretty sure this is his path. That he wanders forever back and forth. Until you see him again, of course. Ah, oh, thank god. I thought for sure he was... The way he was looking made it look like he was going to keep walking. There's just a couple things I want to check out. Uh, there's an item or two here or there. Oh, I see. I gotcha. I'm not gonna kill him. I don't want to kill him. <laughs> and he does not want to die. It was him time. Oh, the damage is terrible. But I also can't use it because it requires... Ah, there. Near the bottom. Stats needed. Requires a little more dex than I have. In fact... Oh, but only by one. Hmm. Oh, and my TV just decided to shut off. Great. I still don't know why it does that. It like it doesn't understand there's a signal going to it or something. It's weird. So if this happens during a boss battle, that's gonna that's gonna suck a little bit. I guess I'll just try and trigger it every so often. P.S. I need a better setup. Oh, just for my TV down, just know what the hell's going on. Oh man, just a second. I think you heal every time you go to the Nexus. Wait, it's someone just a... Hmm. So you don't actually have to... go and make that really, really strange kind of running jump. You can actually just come through here if you happen to spot it. Poison on the- oops! That's right. Forgot. Certain areas of the game you can just hop over. And that's one way. Great. That is a one way hop. Uh, basically, this is not, to my knowledge, it doesn't work in most places and no one ever talks about it in the game. You can just, you can climb over certain ledges. You can just, you can just do it. I think at one point in the game is necessary. It's either necessary or I can't remember if it's necessary or not. But you see an item and you're like, "There's no way to get to that. There's literally no way else to get to that unless I can jump." And you just kind of mash by accident. And you're like, "Oh, I can, I can climb up that." And then you're very confused for the rest of the game, pretty much. At least I was. So, I'm gonna backtrack because I kind of cut through to talk to that guy. But I want to get rid of these goddamn archers first. These crossbowmen. Nope. Oh, he's got a friend. Ah, oh, crap. I'm more afraid of being... Ah, there we go. I'm more afraid of falling off! Uh, than getting hit by him. Ooh, 
a grindstone. I forget what that does. Ah, that's right, durability on your weapons. Ah, uh, let's see. Two hundred and twelve out of two twenty. So this weapon durability is not an issue. I would have to go quite some time without fixing it to actually uh, have an issue. Oh. Explosives. Now we're kind of going backwards. I also really like the sound effects. Just feels good. It's very satisfying to hit things. Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling you? So let's buy something. I don't really need... So this is one of the first places you can buy you know, healing items, which is nice. Oops. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, don't really want any of this. Oh, I guess you can't. You can buy a crossbow here, but not a bow. I wouldn't mind a few more of these. Just in case. Not caring about armor right now. What you got? Be a brave knight or depraved slave. The demons will snatch your soul, then you'll go mad. And those who dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> He's a happy guy. There's this skinny fella, clad in fabulous armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. He's another one who's managed to stay sane like yeah, that's the guy I was just helping out. Probably some pampered son by the looks of his attire. I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his shirt. It is the end of Great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our death. Alright, alright. Thanks for that. Uh, so I am streaming from the East Coast, up in New Hampshire, which has been hit by snow quite frequently the past uh, month or two. As far as age, I am currently 26. Oh god, I walked into that. Motherfucker. And I don't have any of the new consoles. Not yet. I'll have to buy a PS4 when I want... when Bloodborne is coming out. I'm really hoping there's some sort of, uh, deal. Should've been paying more attention. But we do have a slight shortcut. I do have a better weapon than I had when I started. And most importantly, experience. Which is the best thing you can have in this game, is just getting pure skill. You can, as you can see in the intro, you can kill anything if you have the right, uh, right knowledge of what you're doing. Oh, but you're angry. See, I like these guys' jump attacks a lot. You know why? Because they go in a straight goddamn line. They don't track to you. Like, Dark Souls 1 had an issue with that. Dark Souls 2 has a fucking issue with that. But, man. They did it right in this one. Forward momentum doesn't mean you can curve midair. I love it. Now, I would like to not die. God. Oh, fortunately, they do gra drop grass pretty frequently. So I guess it's not too, too bad if you die early on, because, well... People will drop it for you. <laughs> 